Hello everyone, this is Preet Kamal. I'm a lecturer at Mehachan Polytechnic College, Jalandhar. Today I'm here to uh, share with you an important information related to Mission Fateh, a campaign run by our worthy Chief Minister of Punjab, Captain Amrinder Singh. He says that we should fight this coronavirus COVID-19 and uh, we should fight with this only by having some precautions and the precautions are washing the hands regularly using sanitizer and mask while going out and maintaining the social distancing so these are all the precautions that we have to take so that we can fight the coronavirus and we should win and the mission fateh should be successful so let's move on to the topic of today i will be taking the fifth semester PLC subject that is programmable logic controller. It is a special type of controller that is being utilized nowadays in the industries for the automation purpose. Initially, the demand of machine control and automation had increased. When initially it had increased, then there was no such uh, device that was able to fulfill that kind of a demand but as like uh, earlier in uh, earlier times there were some machines and there were the there were the control was mechanical it was a manual control the persons were involved the uh, workers were involved in this and the mechanical controls like uh, cams gears levers these were basically used relays were used and there was a more wear and tear problems then they occupy more space they take more time to do that controlling part and it was they were very difficult to modify as there was a, a rigidness in them and they were not flexible at all so that is why the relay and switch control systems were also there but they were also rigid so that is why in early times, in early 1960s and 70s, the industrial system, the machines, the controls, it was uh, changed into the PLCs, that is the Programmable Logic Controller. But when it was invented earlier, then there were some problems in this also, in this PLC also. It was very complex, it was not e easy to understand, not easy to program. It was uh, uh, something like uh, the programmers, the trained programmers were required for programming those PLCs that were initially invented. But after that the upgradation happened then versatility increased the reliability of the systems increased and there was enhanced complex math functions that were used and nowadays the plcs have changed their scenario completely the upgradation has happened the versatility the reliability has increased and the, there are some mathematical functions some integrations differentiation and all these types type of functions have have been included in the PLCs. It is very high speed programming is being done and it is very easy to program. Uh, not very completely trained uh, or skilled uh, uh, programmers are required to program. Even a fresher can do the programming as ladder programming is being utilized into this. Then it was just the basic introduction of the PLCs. We'll discuss it in detail uh, in uh, future or in the further uh, our uh, sessions now uh, what was the need of plcs let us discuss the limitations of the relays that were used earlier in the machineries in the industries right so there was some limitations in the relays because of which plc has to be invented and plc has overcome all those problems and that is why it has become so much popular now for the industrial automation purposes so the first one the first uh, main limitation was the contact wear and tear and the mechanical uh, touching problems and the wear and tear problems the maintenance problems were there reliability problems were there in the relays then after secondly uh, it was a single input multiple output device or component we can say the relay is a single output and it has ha it is having multiple uh, sorry single input and it is having multiple outputs but sometimes it is not 
suited for the complex control or sequencing uh, uh, systems or uh, designing purpose so that is why there was a problem in using those relays at that time then the third problem was they are hard wired hard wired means rigidness as i have already discussed the rigid devices or components were there there were uh, no such changes could be possible uh, if we need to uh, change something uh, a bit of change we have to do in some machine then we have to replace the whole system if we were using those hard wired systems or relays right so no modification was possible only replacement was the option so it was a very it becomes a very uh, expensive thing that every time you have to make a little even change you have to replace the system or you have to replace the component or the device or something like that then it uh, uh, they were of uh, large size they occupies large space that is then after that the time to actuate uh, the time to program the time to work was also very hi and then it was very difficult to diagnose the problems during the working or the operation point of uh, in respect of the operation point of view it was very difficult to diagnose the problems or the situations that are not under control so these were some limitations these were the list of limitations five to six limitations were there because of which the relays were uh, popular earlier when the manual systems were there manual control systems were there at that time the relays were popular because of their advantages but nowadays when the automation is the complete scenario when when everywhere the automation is uh, uh, taking place then relays had some uh, limitations in that particular scenario and it it was unable to fit into the latest technology that is being evolved so that is why the plc's were introduced the plc's are the microprocessor based programming uh, computers basically microprocessor based uh, specific and uh, it we, we can say it is a specialized computer it is a specialized computer specially designed for some particular tasks in the industry as we all know that uh, whenever we go to any industry then there is a lot of noise there is a lot of uh, hindrance and uh, in that particular scenario in that kind of an environment or that kind of ambience it is very difficult for a system to work as the noise and the temperature these are the two major concerns that can affect the uh, working of any system that is being used in the industry so plc's are made such like they could work in the in that particular industrial uh, noisy scenario noisy environment they were designed like this only especially um, uh, making into the mind taking into consideration the noisy environment of the industry so they are specially designed for the industry they are specialized computers right and uh, they are having complex control system also right they can control the complex systems also they have large number of inputs large number of outputs in them then after the operating system is having internal roam in itself so they can memorize it can the plc can memorize the things and also nowadays i have as i have already told you that we don't need the trained programmers only to program the plc it has made so simple so easy to program the ladder programming the logical programming has been used in that that simple uh, ladder diagrams are being utilized if you will uh, if you all will know about the simple uh, uh, ladder programming then you will be able to do the program of the plc that is uh, utilized nowadays in the industries as like uh, in uh, microcontrollers or in other systems we need to uh, or in c language even we need to uh, remember the syntax the remember the things that we have to uh, learn that we have to uh, mention in them then we have to remember we have to memorize all the things all the uh, syntaxes that we should use all the logics should be clear here only the logic should be clear and you have to just 
put in the diagram in between and you have to make like a diagram and uh, no uh, kind of uh, syntaxes you have to remember no assembly language you have to remember nothing just simple letter programming and anyone will be able to do this so this is the simplest programming ever we can do in the plc's so uh, let me tell you about the concept the basic concept of plc as i have already explained so it is like a process or a machine over here okay if you can see there is a process of or a machine and we have connected this machine with the plc system for the controlling part the measuring the measurement that means the thing you have to control you will be writing it here the measure that you have to control of the machine the controlling part the measurement then it will be given as a field input to the plc plc will do the controlling part it will give you the output and the controlled information will be given to the machine so as i have told you that the basic concept of plc says that it is a specialized computer specially designed for the industrial setup for the industrial point of view and it is used for the controlling purpose that whether uh, we have to measure something either temperature or humidity or pressure or anything or if we need to control something like uh, uh, switches or the lamps or the relays or the motors or the starters or anything in the industry that you need to control or that you need to uh, measure that part is basically uh, given as an input to the plc the plc does the programming part and then after the controlled structure the controlled part the controlled information is being given to that process or that machine and it will uh, react or it will operate according to that particular control that is being done by the plc right next here you can see the next topic is basically the building blocks of the plc the next topic is the building blocks of plc and their function so what do you mean by that as building blocks means that plc and pc as i have already told you that plc is a specialized computer designed spe specifically for the industrial automation industrial purposes right so as we all know about the pc what a pc is pc means the personal computer that we all use at home or at uh, offices or uh, in our organization or educational institutions everywhere we use the program uh, sorry personal computer that is the pc we all know about the pc what it has pc has keyboard for the input purpose mouse can be there light pen light pen like the digital pen we uh, nowadays use for the digital signatures over uh, on your computer screens right so that is your light pen right so keyboard mouse light pen all are these the inputs of the pc we all know about this then it is having a secondary memory ram rom is also present in the pc right so that is why we can uh, memorize a pc could memorize the things that you have entered into it then for the output side for the output purpose we have monitor printer plotter anything could be there right so we all are familiar with this scenario of the personal computer or the pcs or the computers that we use the plc is very much similar to the this uh, pc but it is having somewhat differences some differences are there in the pc and the plc so you can see here as here is the plc as the inputs are there similar to the pc here is the plc it is having that same uh, processing unit and all in between it is having the memories in between it right as there uh, for the inputs it is having keyboard mouse light pen etc in the plc we are having switches for the input purpose light switches for the input purpose sensors could be there as in the industries the keyboard mouse are not required as we don't have to enter anything or if we have to enter also we can connect it to this but mainly the main uh, inputs in this plc are switches light switches and are sensors and the output could be taken on lamps relays motor starters etc right so this is the plc and it is somewhat different than our simple pc the main difference is the plc's have 
additional input output devices right here we can use switches here we can use limit switches here we can use light switches here we can use push buttons and lamp indicators relays anything could be used as an input as an output so any combination we could use in the plc we have numerous of additional input and output devices that we can use in the plc so in the plc most of the input output devices transfers a large amount of data and one byte or more than one uh, byte or more than one data length devices get could be used over here then unlike computers plcs are designed for the industrial purpose as i have already told you that they can the pcs could not work properly in the industrial environment the noisy environment the higher temperature environment they could uh, get heated up easily but the plc is specifically designed for that environment for that ambience of the industry right then unlike computers the plcs do not use any english syntax language i have already uh, discussed it with you that they use the letter logic programming and no english syntaxes are used so we don't have to remember all these things that we have to uh, remember in case of c language or microcontroller key programming language right then after plcs have a limited memory size as compared to the computers but have fixed softwares for a particular plc the plcs do not have uh, so much memory as like the pcs are having but we can uh, use it having a fixed software we can use a fixed software so that its memory could be enhanced theoretically if we say that microprocessor and microcontroller based systems are same as the plc as the pc is a microprocessor based system why it is called as a microprocessor based system is because of it is having a multitasking uh, phenomena it follows the multitasking phenomena similarly in the plcs we can also use the multitasking but we have to make it in a sequence we have to make it in a sequence as like we do the in it in the instructions in uh, your uh, any uh, language in which we are doing the programming but its programming is uh, so simple that even a kid could do it so you will not have to worry about any kind of a programming problems right so uh, this is was all about the uh, basic basics of plc now let me tell you about the building blocks that what is we have known in this particular picture that we are having a plc there these should be the inputs these should be the outputs now i will tell you what is inside this plc okay so it will become a long topic if i will be discussing the building blocks of the plc in detail with you now in this video so uh, we will continue it in the next lecture Thank you so much